I love you. In episode 10, when April says I love you to him, I think he blows it by not saying it right back. When she says I love you, Marty genuinely feels loved and doesn't quite know what to do with that. If he were a healthy guy, he would probably say I love you too. Um, because I think that's actually how he feels, but he's always trying to hedge and leverage, and he's so much more comfortable in that world of business than he is um, in, in his emotional life and in his home life, which is you know, pretty much of a disaster. Let me sit back and hear some of that Marty Khan spin. Go on, sell me. I think he knows that it's, it's just shattered. He knows that it's broken beyond repair, or that nothing he's willing to, to say or do is going to fix it. The thing that we talked about a lot in the writer's room is that everything from your past is always with you and it's always sitting on your shoulder and it's really about how you tango with it in your life. There's my mother. One word about my engagement and I will cut off O. Henry, Super Dupa, and Knight Rider and I will throw them in a Mexican dogfight. It's funny because you think it's going to be an episode about her broken relationship with her mother and what it's really about is ultimately her relationship or, or non-relationship with her father. And that's a lot of what drives her is, you know, her daddy issues. Are you proud of me? Hey, come here. Of course I'm proud of you. I think Jeannie is doing battle, you know, with her soul and with herself. And I think she's, you know, wild and rebellious and very young emotionally and sexually, and yet has this, you know, very buttoned up package. And so she's just constantly running in to her perception of herself. You are really good at your job. That is because my job requires me to lie, Mom. Something I perfected a long time ago, right? Kristen Bell is going for it, and every time she gets a new script, she makes it her own and just brings it every time. Mm -hmm.